That's where we're going to start. We're going to start with proactive strategies for minimizing their occurrence. Okay. Um, a lot of the authors uh, that I've read that deal with incivilities, in fact almost all of them stress that there is very little you can do to help your students outside of the classroom. You can't do anything about their divorce. You can't do anything about their child being sick, losing their job, the stresses in their lives. But what you can do, as painful as it might be, is to focus on yourself. And I say painful because you didn't do it. You didn't cause incivilities. Your students are doing it. But unfortunately, and I didn't want to face this fact either, you have to look at yourself and what you can do. And if you can you know, zero in on some of the factors that are causing incivilities, you, you can do something about it then. If you have no idea why they're occurring, it's difficult to come up with strategies. And also realize the stress that's on yourself. Stre college is stressful for teachers too. And so just having an understanding of that can help us help maybe diminish our equally uncivil response back to them. And I know I've done it and I regret it, but I know I've done it. And this is really, these strategies have really helped me with that. Okay. And Laura is gonna start with our first factor to recognize stress and unrealistic expectations. So we're going to start out going over a couple of points with you and things to keep in mind in terms of you know, being proactive about minimizing incivilities that occur in the classroom. And I think number one, uh, as Stacy just mentioned, is that uh, it's so helpful to recognize that uh, our students are dealing with a lot. They're, they're getting divorced, they've got children, they're working multiple jobs, they're taking a full load. Uh, many of our students are just overwhelmed and, it, and it's a, a, a huge uh, thing for me, it has made a huge difference for me, to, to learn to not take it personally. And this can be really difficult because most of us get into teaching because we love teaching and we love our discipline and the information that we're sharing with our students and we are invested and passionate about what we have to say and it's hard to remember maybe sometimes that our students are quite as invested personally in the classroom environment as, as we are. And so when they behave in an uncivil way, we sometimes mistake that as being about us, when it maybe has little to nothing to do with, with us. So when they behave in these, these disrespectful or, or bizarre manners, sometimes we think, well, you know, what, how, what is, why are you di what, directing this at me when really it very often has nothing to do with us? So, really, so I, I promise you, if you can take a step back and, and just try to keep in mind, you know, gosh, what's going on in my students' lives? I have no, I have no idea idea so often what's going on in the personal lives of my students and, and to keep that in mind it can change your life.